Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. And in the last video, we left off right here in BB and Castletown. After um, finding out that Princess Peach's voice was never stolen. And in this video, we're going to go to Queen Bean and see what we have to do next. So, you're going to want to go over here. Now, let's find out what's happening. So, let's hop our way up there. And, what is this? Oh, Master Mario, spot on timing. Mario, Luigi, I was just speaking with Queen Bean. She tells me there is a mushroom town in Beaming Kingdom called Little Fungi Town. Do you know of it? It is a town full of toads who have immigrated to this land. Since we have come all the way to this land, I wish to pay an official royal visit to Little Fungi Town. I demand it! And I hop with my big boobs. It's susceptible. Tee hee valley. Oh, tee! Yeah. As the royal res representative of the senior toads, I must vigorously oppose this idea. Passing through unknown lands filled with monsters is absolutely absurd. Why the very idea? Cough! Ahem! And yet, I suppose, if Mario and Luigi escorted you... Mario and Luigi, since we seem to have come to a consensus, won't you take me to Little Fungy Town? No! Luigi's like, hell no! And Mario's like, oh yeah, fuck him, I'm gonna take you. As if I, I'm gonna be very, 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 very careful. I must be being preparations. While wow, Toadsworth is so cautious. And with that, please allow me to leave Queen Bean. Your princess is not only beautiful, but both wise and courageous as well. I am severely impressed. Mario and Luigi, we have entrusted Princess Peach's safekeeping to the two of you. Leave the castle town and head north northeast to reach Zihi Valley. Okay, so Princess Peach is demanding a visit to Tsihi Valley. Otherwise, um, she will kick our ass. So, um, we have to go to Little Fungi Town, which, um, is past Tsihi Valley, actually. Wow, it sounded like I was talking Spanish, Spanish and I was like, Tsihi. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy stuff later. Um, well, you know what? I'm gonna go buy it. I'm gonna regret it later. I'm gonna regret it. You'll see. I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna like, oh, I should have bought those mushrooms at the shop. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it right now. Because I had no mushrooms in my suitcase, so. I should definitely buy it. I'm gonna buy some nuts, too. Yeah, one nut, I guess. They're too expensive. And. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm definitely gonna regret that if I don't buy it, so. I might as well do that now, because in Tihi Valley there's a few monsters that are um, tougher than your basic Koopas and Lakidus and Spinies, you know. And you want to get this guy out of the way because he's going to be annoying the hell out of you. You just want to use your high jump and um, touch him in the air and just kick his ass because he's going to be throwing down Spinies and they're almost extremely 100% accurate and they're going to be hitting you so you definitely want to take care of him. So. So he won't be um, um, throwing spinies. And they're named Lackey Peas or Locky Peas. I don't know why they're not, not, not just called uh, Lakidus. Um, but I guess since they're in the Beam Bean Kingdom, they're called Lackey Peas or Locky Peas. So that's kind of weird. Lakey Pea, I don't know. So before we go to Tihi Valley, you have to do this. You wanna um, electrify this orb right here? I'll make this gate go down. And take care of this lackey pee. Lack of pee, whatever. And, uh, well, I guess you can call it a lackey pee because he looks different. He has, like, leaves on his cloud. And he has a leaf on top of his head, so I guess it is different. It's not like the original Lakidus with, uh, um, with eyes on their clouds, you know. This one has just leaves. Unless the eyes are covered by leaves or something. I don't know. Who cares? Yay, a woo bean. Awesome. So, follow this little path. Grab the chuckle bean first. There we go. Go down here. And you're gonna see... a uh, chuckle bean. Well, I tell you, these chuckle beans are all over the bean bean kingdom. You wanna pick them all up. You wanna go inside this cave, and you're gonna see a save block, but I'm not gonna hit it. It's pointless. And... It's the Hammerhead Bros! 
Whoa! I was wondering who that might be. It's the good old Mario Brothers. How have you guys been doing? We moved out this way re recently. This new place is bigger than the old one, which makes it easier for us to do our work. Say, are those hammers we made for you sticking... What? What did he say? <laughs> sticking good? Forge your hammers. Okay. Right, we'll have these in a second. Okay. They're gonna reforge them. Oh, wow. All you did was change the color. Thank you very much. Now we have silver hammers. Yeah, but they are reforged. Now they can break uh, different types of rocks, so... Okay, go back to the hammer. There we go. And now you want to go in here, and you're going to see this thwomp. I am thwomp. So you got to give him 200 coins, and he's going to have you play this little memory. Not really a memory game. It's just a guessing game, pretty much a luck game. And what do you know? How lucky am I? Yeah, you want to search for the one that has a secret scroll. And what that is, is that it allows your, you know, Mario or Luigi to learn a new bro moves. For this one, it was Mario, but in that other room over there, that other cave, it's for Luigi. But we don't have the hammer to break those rocks yet, so that's for later. But now Mario has a new bro attack, so you definitely want to check that out in battle. And definitely want to pick that up while you're there. I, I don't know why you wouldn't um, check that out, but... Uh, and um, behind those other two stones where the secret sto scroll was, um, I think one of them has uh, 200 coins, and the other one has nothing. So basically, um, one of them has allows you to get all your money back, and the other one you lose it all. So, Master Mario, Master Luigi. Well, we got here before them, and they were waiting. They said they wait for us here. So, whoo! Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, so, yeah, I like the music in this area. It's pretty cool. Teehee Valley. We're standing right next to that skeletal fish. Look at that star over there. It looks like Frankenstein. Frankenstar. He has those stitches across his mouth. Princess, be careful. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, why do I forget the... Why do I get the feeling I forgot to say something vital? Oh my god, what could it be with Toad's work this time? Master Mario, wait! Oh, now I've done it! Eek! Yeah, that's what you wanted to do? Is that what you wanted to do? You wanted to get the princess kidnapped, huh? That's what you wanted to say, something vital, so she can get kidnapped. You ass. Man. Jeez, that's all you wanted to do. It's like, hey, you know, she can get kidnapped like she just got right now. You know, she just got kidnapped right now, so you go save her, and I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go have a, a spot of tea. So, go rescue her, and let me know how she is. See you later. Ta-ta. Man, he is so selfish. And an idiot! Jeez, he just makes... Allows Princess Peach to, uh, get kidnapped like that. On purpose, probably. So, yeah, I know, Toad's birthday is... He is a cool character. So you're going to see his new enemies um, in the desert. They're called Grifty Goombas, or Gritty Goombas. Grifty. That would be a weird name. Yeah, that was the new bro move right there. I just did right there. It's Swing Brothers, which is a pretty powerful move, actually. It does, deals a lot of damage. And uh, it's just a little hard to execute because um, you have to like hold the A button and then push the B button and then the B button again. So it's a little different than the other ones. But it's definitely worth it, so... And very powerful, so... Yeah, these gritty Goombas are, um... The only thing they do is summon a sandstorm. And it's kind of hard to see them, but you can pretty much tell which brother they're going towards. So, um... They're not too bad. And those Sniffits, those spiky Sniffits, they're pretty annoying too because, uh... They have a lot of HP, and I really, actually, um... You don't know... How to tell if the if the item that they're throwing, the projectile that they're throwing is gonna jump? Like if you have to jump or you don't have to jump, you know? Like if it, like with the I forgot what was the other enemy. I forgot. But like, uh, I mean, you can tell which brother he's gonna attack. You just don't know if you have to jump or not. Like with the queen bean battle. There we go. I think. I don't know. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? But um. With a few bro moves and hammer um, strikes, they should go down. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm running a little low on time, so. 
Yeah, Peach is scanning the whole desert. It's going in circles. My god. Uh. Okay, come on. Let's get this over. Actually, you know what? I kind of feel like running away because uh, I just. Uh, I'm running a little low on time, so. I'm just gonna leave all my coins here and. Uh, that's it. That's enough for this video. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.